The Watcher. I have seen infinite universes kept afloat by the sacrifices of heroes. Sacrifice is essential to every triumph, and it's the brave heroes sacrificing themselves for the greater good that keeps hope alive. Join me on this journey of sacrifice as we enter the world of Peter Parker once more as he assists his mentor, Dr. Otto Octavius, in creating a revolutionary technological advancement. All right, Doc, looks like we got just a few more calibrations left and the arms will be ready for preliminary testing. Brilliant work, dear boy. Hmm, but some slight miscalculations have been made with the neural interface. In this condition, I won't be able to successfully link my brain to the arms. Damn it. I'm so sorry. I'll fix it right away. Are you all right, Parker? It's not like you to be so distracted. <sighs> Girl problems. Oh, to be young and in love. What's happening now? Late for another date? Thankfully, no. Uh, things have actually been going really well with Mary Jane, but she just doesn't know who I am. Not really. Aha! Uh -huh. That's the funny thing about humans, Peter. We're fundamentally frauds. It seems as if we have a mask for every single person in our lives. A version of ourselves that we think they want us to be. It's the cornerstone flaw to a man-made society. But love... Love changes that. Have I ever told you about how I asked Anna Marie to marry me? No, I don't think you have. We dated for merely one year before I proposed. On our first anniversary, I brought her to our favorite spot, the New York Hall of Science. Both of us have spent our entire lives hiding our science-driven parts of our personalities from those surrounding us. Until we met there for the first time. We were quite the pair. When did it think it'll be two years, this month, since she was taken? I just wish Spider-Man could have known how bright she was before, before he took her from me. We'll make it right, Doc. These arms, uh, we'll make them in her memory. We'll blow away the school board and make her proud. <sighs> Correct. This Mary Jane, do you love her? Truly? I do. Then be honest with her. When shall you see her next? Uh, tonight, uh, she's starring in the school play on the first floor of campus. You will bring her flowers, and you will bear your heart to her. If you truly love her, you must abandon your masks. They only bring out the worst in us. You're right. I need to be honest with her. <sighs> Why don't you end the day early and prepare for your big night? Are you sure? Uh, there's still a few calibrations left here. I'll get through them quickly. There. No rest till the work is finished, right? <laughs> You're excellent, Parker. Now get out of here and impress that girl. Thanks again, Dr. Octavius. Wait, Peter! You forgot your... Notebook. What is this? I've never seen equations like this before. Talk is right. It's time for me to be honest with Mary Jane about my double life. And maybe it's time I was honest with him too. He deserves closure. I'm sorry I couldn't save Anna Marie, Doc. I wish things were different. <sighs> Ten minutes of showtime, people! <laughs> Uh, okay. Hey, the green room is for talent only. Uh, yep, got it. My talents include juggling, burping the ABCs, and I can do that clover thing with my tongue. <laughs> it's fine, Liz. He's with me. For the most gorgeous girl in Manhattan. Are you trying to put me out of a job, Pete? Flowers before a show are bad luck, you know. <laughs> well, I figured the superstition can't really apply to the Mary Jane Watson. Thank you, Pete. I love them. I saved you the best seat in the house, by the way. The acoustics should be great. Looking forward to it. Oh, am I seated next to your folks? I've been dying to meet them. They're not here. But it doesn't matter. You're the only person I need here tonight. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Yeah. Here's your coffee. 
Miss Watson? Thank you, Mark. Can I get you anything else? No. Thank you. Salicylic acid, toluene, methanol, carbon tetrachloride, potassium carbonate, and ethyl acetate. In theory, this substance could create a synthetic threading. Damn you! I should have known. Parker was never here for science. He pitied me! Wanted to watch me suffer as he... Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be damned. Peter Parker! Uh, Dr. Connors, what are you doing here? Oh, my son's in the play. He's Leonardo. Oh, nice. Oh, by the way, I am so excited for the board to see what Dr. Octavius and I are whipping up for you. Pardon? The campus project presentation. We're pitching our cybernetic tentacle enhancements. Oh, you must be mistaken. Otto declined my invitation to present two weeks ago. Oh. How odd. Thank you all for coming tonight. Empire State University's Broadway theater program is proud to present Much Ado About Nothing. Why would the doc lie to me about the presentation? What else could we be creating the arms for? Did he break out into tears? In great measure. A kind overflow of kindness. There are no faces truer than those that are so washed. How much better is it to weep as joy than to joy at weeping? Ah, here comes my dearest niece, Beatrice. My dearest niece, Beatrice. Where is she? She's been talking about this night for weeks. I just saw her. Is it stage fright? No, that's... So unlike her. Something's wrong. What the hell are you doing? Get off the stage! Where's Mary Jane? Has anyone seen her? We've been looking for her for 15 minutes. We can't find her. Something's wrong. Move, Parker, move! Where could she have gone? I should be able to get a good look from up here. Lose something? Doc, Dr. Octavius, why? He's got MJ, and she's not moving. Is she? No, 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 don't think like that, Parker. Just get her out of here. You murder! Was this a game all along? Watch me in pity while I suffer the consequences of your actions! Uh. Mary Jane! Uh, ma'am, are you alright? Where am I? It's gonna be okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Uh. Upon study, I found you're quite proficient at dodging single attacks, but unable to dodge omnidirectional strikes. My arms make a perfect point to your power. As you can see, I've been waiting for this day for quite some time. I have contingencies for everything you plan to throw at me! You took my honor away from me! You ruined my life! Who gave you the right? Otto, please, stop. Hiding your identity like a coward! You're just like them! A liar! A fraud! I have to lead him away from MJ before he hurts her even more. If I can get him to the lab to remove the neural interface, I can stop him from hurting anyone else. Maybe you're right. But I can't allow you to hurt anyone else because of my mistake. You're greater than this, Doc. You don't want to hurt anyone. 
God! Damn you, Parker! Damn you! Parker? Come on, Doc. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Can't let the pain settle in. I have to get to the lab before he grabs me again. His arms caught him, so it'll only be a moment before he's back in the game. It's going to take a lot more than that to put me down. You can't run from me! Come on, Otto. Tell me you ran diagnostics. And bingo was his name -o. Woo! Oh god. What have I done? Seems like rushing my calibration earlier botched the neural link's security. If I remove it from Doc's neck, I could seriously hurt him, but if I don't, he'll have the power to go after MG again. What am I gonna do? Tell me. Did you even try to save her? Did you even think of it? <sighs> I tried so hard. I'll never forgive myself for failing you. Neither will I! No! You imbecile! No! God! Now for the inhibitor chip. Peter? Peter, where are you? I'm here, Otto. Why? Why did it have to be you? I don't know. Look, Otto, you were right. Okay, this mask has done nothing but hurt myself and others, so maybe, maybe I am a bad person. But I'm gonna make sure that you get the help you need, no matter what. Let's get you to the hospital. Peter, uh, I, I, oh God, I can't feel my legs. Peter, I can't feel anything. Mr. Parker? How is he? Well, your professor has suffered from severe brain damage. Whatever was connected to his cerebellum short-circuited and fried a portion of the tissue. I don't think he's ever going to move again, as he's effectively paralyzed from the neck down. Do you know if he has any family or a uh, next of kin? No. I see. Well, visiting hours aren't until tomorrow. I suggest you go home and get some rest. You did the right thing bringing him here. Hey. Hi, um, can you come over? Yeah, I think we need some time to talk through everything. I'll be there by seven. All right. Wow. You really love this rooftop. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming all this way. I... Oh my god. Your arm. I I is it? Broken in three places. Oh. <laughs> right. Um, do you remember anything from being up there? No. But listen, there's something else I need to talk to you about. What happened made me realize something. Something I haven't been honest with you about. You don't have to if you don't want- No. I do. I, I didn't invite my parents to the play. In fact, I never told them about it in the first place. Mary Jane. All throughout high school, I would come home every day and watch like clockwork as my mom sat in her room as if she had no idea my dad was cheating on her at clubs. She would just sit there and pretend like everything was fine. Hell, you probably think she had the best day of her life. Once I realized all of this, I made a promise to myself that I wouldn't become my mom. That I wouldn't wear the same godforsaken mask I saw her in. Because I know I'm better than that and I deserve more. But recently I've realized I didn't keep that promise. I can't help but feel like we've tried to force something that isn't there. This isn't what love is. Neither of us are being true to who we are. MJ, I am so sorry you felt like you couldn't tell me about all of this, but you're right. I haven't been truthful about myself. And I just don't think I can be right now. Mary Jane, you're the most uh, amazing girl I've ever met, and if this isn't love, then I don't know what is, but I don't think I'm in a place to give you the love you deserve. 
because you deserve the world. I... I see. That's my lift. Right. I guess I'll see you around. Sure. Bye, Pete. I hope you figure out whatever's going on with you. Is it to stand up amidst never-ending forces of evil? To inspire others to be greater? Whatever your answer, there lies one constant throughout every universe. Heroes are crafted and defined by their sacrifice. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the final entry in this trilogy, make sure to go to the description below and buy some of the merch. All of the proceeds go to getting our cast paid and making sure that we can get the next one out in a timely manner. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.